the characteristics of the essence of enlightenment. The characteristics of the essence of enlightenment have four great significances that are identical with those of empty space or that are analogous to those of a bright mirror. First, the essence of enlightenment is like a mirror that is really empty of images. It is free from all marks of objects of the mind, and it has nothing to reveal in itself, for it does not reflect any images. Second, it is, as it were, a mirror, influencing all human beings to advance toward enlightenment, serving as the primary cause of their attaining enlightenment. That is to say, it is truly non-empty. Appearing in it are all the objects of the world which neither go out nor come in, which are neither lost nor destroyed. It is eternally abiding one mind. All things appear in it because all things are real, and none of the defiled things are able to defile it. For the essence of wisdom, that is, original enlightenment, is unaffected by defilements, being furnished with an unsoiled quality and influencing all human beings to advance toward enlightenment. Third, it is like a mirror that is free from defiled objects reflected in it. This can be said because the non-empty state of original enlightenment is genuine, pure, and bright, being free from hindrances, both affectional and intellectual, and transcending characteristics of that which is compounded, that is, the storehouse consciousness. Fourth, it is like a mirror influencing a person to cultivate his capacity for goodness, serving as a coordinating cause to encourage him in his endeavors. Because the essence of enlightenment is free from defiled objects, it universally illumines the mind of a human being and induces him to cultivate his capacity for goodness, presenting itself in accordance with his desires as a mirror presents his appearance. And the translator notes, from the absolute point of view, the plurality of particulars does not exist. What exists is the absolute only, just as space is one without any second. Division of space is man-made, the result of thought construction made for the sake of convenience. Intrinsically, it is non-existent. Of the four arguments, the first and second correspond to the arguments on the two aspects of the absolute in terms of empty and non-empty. The third and fourth arguments correspond to purity of wisdom and super-rational functions in the preceding section.